Hi everybody. Colleen and I have been really fortunate to have discovered some otter dens uh, nearby where we live. And this video is going to be all about tracking those autumn otters in uh, winter time. And if you stick with us, you're going to learn a whole bunch of really cool stuff about how you can also find otter dens if they live in your area, where to look, how they behave, and what their tracks look like. So on one of our walks, we, uh, we were just exploring new areas and we saw something that stood out uh, to us uh, at the at the edge of a wetlands area and of course it for us that is something that we need to investigate as soon as we see something a little out of the ordinary we need to go discover what it is uh, it's developing the mind of the tracker and in our searches we discovered uh, prime otter winter denning habitat so here's what you need to look for first of all otters need food they need water and that water needs to have fish in it and frogs and freshwater clams and it also needs to have good sheltering uh, especially in the winter where the otters can get underneath the ice or into a den and also get on top so they can travel from to their various hunting areas or to a series of dens so this is what you're looking for this is general river otter habitat at least uh, here in Alberta so first of all, you need to be close to water with fish. So we're right beside the Athabasca River and the Athabasca River is full of fish from very small fish up to very large fish. So there's our food source for the otter. Second of all, you need to have water that in the winter time, at least for denning sites, the water needs to be at least a meter or two deep throughout the winter. So here we are as an example right at a beaver lodge and we've got an open area here right below this beaver lodge and beaver dam and the water's quite deep right there. Uh, I've also even seen little tiny uh, sticklebacks and uh, other various small minnows that are right here in this wetlands that we know the otters feed on. So it's not actually in the river, but the winter denning site for the otters is near the river because the otters don't just den in the river. That's difficult for them. There's a lot of movement in the ice, the, uh, the water currents change, the levels go up and down. So they tend to den nearby the rivers in wetlands like this. So let's just look up and see what this wetland looks like. As we look here, the, on the other side of the trees, just to the left, is the Athabasca River. Beside the Athabasca River is this beautiful wetlands that occasionally floods when the river goes high. This is an ideal place to look for winter otter dens. The other thing we're looking for is you want to find a place where there is a bank, some sort of a bank that comes down fairly steep and then that bank ends right at the wetlands. Those are the places, as you'll see in this video, that Colleen and I have found the most otter dens. This particular spot is really active right now. It snowed yesterday. Colleen and I just came out here this afternoon and there's already tracks all over just in the last 20 hours or so since the snow fell and it's open water and right over there we've got our trail camera set up so that we can video and film the otters as they come in and out of this den. However, the thing with this little area is just back there is another den. Just back over there, probably about 30 meters from here is another den right at the base of the bank. We've got a trail camera set up there too. And I know that in our further explorations along this wetlands, we're likely to come across numerous other little spots that they're either finding safety, or they're finding food, or they're just exploring. We've got this nice little defined trail through the cattails where the otters are running. And I imagine at other times of year there'll be muskrats and beavers and other creatures, but uh, 
our most recent uh, animals that have walked through here and slid through here are the otters. So let's get an otter's perspective. Let's get right down inside. Awesome. And this leads to another denning site, just a little ways beyond the cattails. And they're doing a combination of walking and sliding on their bellies. <laughs> Very cool. Right here we've got an otter. It's heading in the direction of the camera. There's its front and rear feet that landed there. And then it slid, 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 slid on its belly. And then it got to a little bit of an incline right there, a little hump that it had to go over, so it used its feet, climbed up onto that edge, got some good footing right there, and then off it went on another big slide. Cool. Oh, I hope we get that on film. Here's another nice shot of front paws and rear paws, and the big push, and the big slide. It's about a meter and a half or two slide. And then off they go running through there. There's another. And uh, chasing around the corner. Let's just have a look at where they went here. So our experience so far is that they maintain these little pockets of open water at the base of these cliffs or these banks. And uh, right in here is where I saw a bunch of little minnows when I was setting up trail cameras. So I know there's a food source when we think of otters, we probably, at least in my mind, I start to imagine oh, otters eating big fish, you know, two, three pound fish. But that's not actually the case. In fact, more often than not, they just eat the little guys. So look at, and inside there, I'm going to zoom in because they're inside that water. You can see them. See those little flashes? Those are little minnows. Yeah, there you go, see that? Minnows. Now those are fish. I don't imagine an otter has to be picky. A fish is a fish is a fish, and away they go, so very cool. And let's look over here, here's another one. Look at that, so the otters, their trails lead right into this. And I don't know if they're digging through with their teeth or they're scraping it out with their claws, but in any case, they're maintaining these little holes. What's that, Cody? Looks like he was rolling. They were doing their rolls here. Yeah, they do a lot of rolls. And then over here, oh, we might have got this roll on film. As we travel along, following the otter trails, there's two of them. They've been marching along this uh, little shore of this wetlands here. And every little nook and cranny that possibly has uh, access to water underneath the snow and ice, uh, they've explored it. And here you can see they, they searched around here quite diligently trying to find access into the water. And there's sand all over the top of the snow uh, from their footprints. And we're just going to pan over this way because uh, you'll see their trails here. So. There's two trails leaving the den that we know about. And they went on this great huge foray, and then they came back in the same general direction. And then so looking over here, there's a couple more. We're going to walk over those right, right away here. So the otters came in here in the direction that we're moving the camera right now. And of course, they, they went and they explored in here. And uh, what we're learning so far is that they tend to like wherever these little den accesses are, um, they tend to roll and flatten it. So they, they seem to roll much like a dog or a cat does when they lay on the ground and roll around in the dirt and the sand and the stuff. And so each one of these little dens that we're seeing here now, uh, they come out and then they, they roll. And there's a lot of sand that's tracked out from their feet. So, and then up here, we're seeing that this place was apparently important enough to them that they decided to, to leave some steps. So there's some otter toads there and a little spot up here. So they were leaving little scent piles. There's another one there.
kind of a cool spot here. The otters um, have gone. There's four trails right here that we're looking at. So there's two that are heading um, to the right of the screen and then two returning on it. And as you can see, they crossed over this log and they slid their bellies over the log. And then there's a couple really nice footprints right on the log. And I, I love this one right here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And then here, it's kind of cool, we see them, uh, there's, there's a lot of nice footprints and there's their belly drag, of course. And they go underneath this uh, old log here, so look at those really nice little footprints right there too. Heading down as they push off and underneath the log and pop out on the other side. Now looking, in the, looking in the bright sun, there's an otter belly slide. So right there is the rear legs pushing off. And then a nice long slide. And it could be that they're sliding on top of each other's trails so that the one that's following second has an easier time with it. And away they go. As we're following along, we keep encountering a long tail weasel trail, too. There's a nice two by two set of prints, followed by another two by two, and another. And another as this weasel hops along making its way through the forest let's just go back and come back here and look closely up at these nice little footprints so there'll be four footprints in there two fronts and then two wheels landing right on top of them again or right close to on top of them again and here back there again there we go four footprints front front real real as they bound their way along. So otter mixed with lynx, mixed with long-tailed weasel. There's deer and moose along our way. And uh, a host of small little mice and shoes. All these tracks and trails are in our day walk today. <laughs> so nice. So now we're a few hundred yards from the main den. And we're, what we're at here is, uh, there's a little spring that comes out of the ground right here. Now, I know it's uh, in the sun and the shade, I'll get closer in a second, but this low area here, we were here a week and a bit ago, and this was a spring area that warmed up enough that this whole sunken area that we're looking at was water, and wet, and it was, you know, it's a nice little spring that a lot of the animals come to. But, so since we've been here in this last week and a half, the otters have gone nuts here. They visited this spring, and as you can see here, they found their way into some sort of a underground, under snow thing, I don't know what, in search of food. We're going to zoom in and see if we can get real in there. No, it doesn't really show us much, does it? So, anyways, they've been crazy, going crazy at this little spring here. And we'll get them going back somewhere. We'll get them under the um, We're speculating on what's going on here. So, a week ago there was no sign of the otters here. And now, all of a sudden, you can see they've been in the dirt, rooting about, rolling about, and they've also been climbing about and leaving uh, scat. There's a bunch of scat there. And a uh, little pile, look at up there, there's another little post or scent post. And here, too. And even as we go further over it, I'll show you a couple other holes here yet, but. What we're thinking, possibly, possibly, and I don't know, I'm not a wildlife biologist with special, who specializes in otters, but they may be rooting around in the muck, pulling up frogs or snails, and that could be what they're eating. Uh, there's certainly no fish here, because it's just a spring, there's no deep water here. But they, they have a lot of attention focused on this area, so we're thinking, of course, this is a great spot to put up another trail camera.
Okay, so we've got all the way through here these auto trails running. On the left, right in front of Colleen, there was the, um, there's our snowshoe trail. There was our snowshoe trail, and then we've got the two auto, or four auto trails. <laughs> so we've got two heading past us, one direction, and then two coming back. So a uh, really nice, neat little trails here. So uh, as I'm looking at those, it looks like the one that's um, further on the top there is heading to the right and then returning on the left. Cool, and then we're into some shadow. There we go, and there you can see it. They split apart, and what we're discovering is that they they don't just follow each other. They just kind of go and snoop around and break apart. Sometimes they're on the same trail, but oftentimes they just go wherever they feel like it. And they're marching their way all the way down this way and into the forest and beyond and eventually to the river. And we got right to the river, and, and of course that was their ultimate destination because they have open water and, and a river full of fish. Out there, so they journeyed, and along the way they stopped and they investigated all these little dens and burrows. So here's another curious little spot where when we walked through here a little over a week ago, there was no sign of this. And now here we have the otter slides in and out. And they haven't dug their way into this because there's no spoils pile. Like uh, they haven't thrown up the snow and dug and burrowed. Instead, they broke through a crust and went down uh, through a bit of a void, as you can see, and then into another second crust of snow or possibly ice. Which leads us to believe that they, Colleen thinks that they may have already had this hole here previously and then it snowed over, got covered over with a snow bridge and they've just revisited it and burst their way through into that uh, under snow world in search of food and other things. And it's kind of neat how it's hollowed out in there. I wonder if they're sitting there and eat like a muskrat would where they, they make domes underneath the snow and they sit and eat, but it doesn't look like anything in there as far as uh, recent meals go. And this trail that we're looking at here, this is Lynx. So Lynx went through and also investigated uh, these little dens and burrows that we've been seeing all around. So Colleen and I came by here this morning, and right along here, this trail, that's the Lynx. That was here when we came this morning, but since we went on a walk behind us, this trail that weaves like this, and around here, this is a coyote, and then it comes here, and then it walks over here, and we'll show you. Oh, I know it's a coyote because it's right there. You can see a beautiful little coyote print right there. But it's on top of a fresh otter trail, too. So while we were gone, these, uh, this otter trail occurred, too. And it looks like it's heading out. Right, going? I think it's heading out. So since we were here this morning, this trail, we, we will walk the other direction. And uh, this guy, I think, is out on the little journey right at the moment. So let's zoom in on those nice tracks. So those are, those are fresh tracks. I can't even tell if I'm filming them right. There we go. Those are fresh tracks within the last hour and a half. Right there, and there's the auto pushing with his back feet. Pushing with his back feet. Pushing with his back feet. Pushing with his back feet and sliding on his, his belly all the way along. And then again, there's the coyote on top. So the coyote came, smelt his tail, and kind of went on. And there goes the auto off in this direction. And into, onto another search, another hunt for food, I'm guessing. 